So let's talk about the robot classic four items of plugins, yes. EQ and the comps.、Mm-hmm. So firstly, we have got a huge documents of the robot made anciently in the seventies and eighties. Yes, yeah, it's original design notes. Absolutely, I remember when you came and visited. Rupert very much liked、uh, the conversations.、Uh, he was very concerned when he met you that you were only. A digital designer and only knew graphics and DSP and knew nothing about analog. So he was very happy to hear that you you had started as an analog person. <laughs> and、um, there's a lot of common ground、uh, as far as design philosophy between you and Rupert. So he really opened up the archives and, and pulled out a, a bunch of documents, those original designs from the 70s as well as the 80s that he prepared for you, as well as extensive notes. About his design philosophy. Yeah, thanks a lot, Sabadi,、uh, because we got、uh, very good information about the other four items, the EQ and the comps. So the、uh, even in the seventies, eighties, so he did a great, great quantity of the measurement of the trial circuitry. Yes, a lot, a lot. So it was a very impressive thing for us. So we understood. That he paid great effort to get the right sound for the customer. I think. That's right. So the, we straightly go forward to the 70s EQ comps and the 80s EQ and the comp. Yes. So we did fi-、uh, first trial of the 70s EQ and the 70s comp、uh, in a software course. Then、uh, we were getting good results on it. Yes. So naturally, we think of the、uh, transformer inside the software can be introduced into the mic preamplifier for PM10. So again, we had a kind of a idea exchange. They moved to the transformer emulation from PM10.、Yes. Then you introduced us. Silk is very good. Yes, I, re- I remember when you and And some of the other members of your team visited us in Wembley, and it was right when we were coming out with the Portico 2 channel,、uh, which was the first device that we made that had the silk red and the silk blue,、uh, which immediately、uh, was known as a very, very powerful tool because you could、um, increase or decrease the amount of harmonic content to suit the needs of the source. Yes, I remember that. So immediately we came up with the idea of the.、Uh, Classic、uh, transformer emulation with combination of the silk circuit, the red and the blue. Yes, it was a beautiful idea. I think. Absolutely, it's it's very powerful. Not only the richness and the character of one of Rupert's classic transformer designs, but the ability with with silk red and silk blue to manipulate the harmonic content.、Uh, with silk red, you have、uh, the same ratio of second and third harmonic content as those classic. Um, designed to the early 70s, but you can control how little or how much of it you want.、Uh, with silk blue, you have a slightly higher ratio of third harmonic,、um, and it also, in the analog version, and what you emulate is you, trans- you saturate the transformer a little earlier, so you get that lovely low-end roundness that some of his designs are known for.、Mm-hmm. Great. So besides that, we. Investigated arts about the 70s EQ itself,、yes. comps itself,、mm-hmm. 80s also. That's right. So we get final results. Then, final sensation was happened yesterday. Yes, I'm very impressed with not only your ability to capture、uh, the sounds of those classic designs of Mr. Neves from the 70s and from the 80s, as well as current day. But also, when you operate the units, they behave and they respond just like the classic ones. So it's very fulfilling as an operator. Great.